Hi, welcome to my channel Anam Takshisila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under vector introduction. So, what is the problem? Find the direction cosines and direction ratios of the vector 3a bar plus 4j bar minus 5k bar. So, what they have given? They have given a vector. And the, what they are asking? They are asking us to find the direction cosines and direction ratios. Since they have given a vector, you can write this vector as a bar equal to 3a bar plus 4j bar minus 5k bar. And this, this 3 is nothing but it is the i bar coefficient that you can take it as x. Similarly, this 4 is j bar coefficient, you can take that 4 as y. And here, k bar coefficient is minus 5, you can take that z coefficient. As you know that direction cosines means that first you need to find the modulus of this. That is, direction cosines are x by modulus of a bar and y by modulus of a bar, then z by modulus a bar. That is the direction cosines. And what about direction ratios? Direction ratios nothing but x comma y comma z. What is x value here? x value is 3, y value is 4, z value is minus 5. So, solution. So, as I told you before, first write this vector given. So, we are writing vector that is taken as a, a bar equal to 3a bar plus 4j bar minus 5k bar. So, then we will find the modulus of this vector. So, modulus of a bar that is you can call r. So, this is equal to square root of 3 square plus 4 square minus 5 square. So, we will get here this one square root of 3 square means 9 plus 16. So, this will be since it is plus, so log inside minus 5. So, we will get plus. So, minus 5 whole square is 25. So, we'll get what is that? 25 plus 16, 41. 41 plus 9, root 50. So, this is our value. So, we got the modulus. So, we need to find direction cosines. So, as you know, the direction cosines are direction cosines are x by r, then y by r, and z by r. So, in this case, what is x here? x is nothing but 3. So, this is equal to, what is x? So, 3 by root 50, then y is, y value is 4 by root 50, and what about z? z is minus 5 by root 50. So, this is the direction cosines. And what about direction ratios? So, direction ratios are, direction ratios are x comma y comma z. So, what is x here? x is 3 comma 4 comma minus 5. So, this is how we find the direction cosines and direction ratios. And if you want to solve similar problems of this kind, I have given you a link in the description. Please click on that link. And this video is mostly useful to polytechnic and engineering students. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel Anam Takshasila for further updates. Thank you for watching my video.